Hey team, we have also another feature that we're uh, announcing for beta. It's the Helm uh, subchart feature from the Kubernetes team. So the use case is, um, you know, today a lot of people have Helm charts that have um, dependencies. And these dependencies can be referenced within the chart where I could have a bunch of uh, smaller charts that are made up of this like umbrella chart essentially that wraps up all these smaller charts that we call subcharts. Um, and these subcharts might have like dependencies on one another. So like one Helm chart might need to be deployed before the other. And so what this Helm subchart feature does is we first are able to now pull down all the Helm charts. And then on top of that, we also have the Helm command flags feature available, which will actually, you can run a template de uh, dash dash dependency update. And what will happen is, is all the charts that we pull down um, we'll actually run this Helm uh, Helm dependent template dependency update and process all the Helm chart dependencies into one like Uber Helm chart essentially, and then we will go perform the deployment. And so um, we have customers like Cisco Plus who model it uh, this way, and uh, I'll walk you through kind of how to configure it. In terms of deployment behavior, the only major change you will see is the more, there are more files that are going to be fetched. Like we'll fetch the subchart files, um, and then we will run the uh, command flag that you've that you're required to set. Um, but in terms of behavior overall, uh, we'll still do like the rolling, the canary, the blue green kind of style deployments. If you're doing Helm chart with Kubernetes, and if you're doing Helm chart with native Helm, even better. You know you're doing the uh, will run like all the native Helm commands on top of it and be able to process the uh, entire chart. Uh, no change in behavior. One gives us the control of doing rolling canary blue green. The other will just be a basic launch. Uh, but we'll either way we'll process the dependencies. Um, so if you go into uh, you know a service. You'll notice that um, we have this this chart, and you'll have you'll configure a, a type of uh, manifest of Helm chart. This can be coming from Git, um, uh, HTTP Helm, S3, any location. Uh, just you need to make sure you have the right structure of the chart, so it has the parent chart, and then you have a charts folder, and within the charts folder is the uh, Hel the Helm subcharts that we're going to full, and then. Um, in the manifest details, we've added uh, a, a new field, which is the subchart name, uh, and you'll have to tell us what uh, what is the uh, the subchart um, kind of uh, 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 chart that you want us to pull uh, fetch, and then on top of that, we will also allow for um, you know specifying uh, the template command. So you'll say the template command and pass in the dependency update flag. So what will happen is we'll fetch the Helm chart with the subcharts, and then we will run the Helm template dependency update to process all those subcharts and their dependencies and give the end user one final Helm chart that they need to go ahead and deploy. And Harness will obviously do that for them. And so when you configure this in your uh, service, you won't see any change in your environment or execution. And then if you go into you know your your execution, you'll notice in this in the actual um, fetch files task, we'll fetch the subchart, we will fetch the parent chart, and then um, you'll see all the fetched files. So you'll see the the helper template, the chart.yaml, the shared lib, the first uh, child. Uh, so this is the the the, the subchart and all of its files. And then we'll run that Helm dependency update to process all of them. And so that's how um, we're handling these uh, Helm subcharts and um, how we're performing a deployment. Um, feel free to give it a try. We have um, beta docs available for anyone who's interested in, in trying the feature. Uh, and uh, yeah, feel free to reach out if you have any questions or if you would need some help adopting it. We're looking for feedback um, at this time. Thank you.